Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this 15 inch display from 2 CCFL to our UB36 series LED kit. 36 series is a lot narrower, okay? It comes, this kit comes with two LED strips, one on top, one on bottom, one LED driver to replace your inverters, one six pin pigtail connectors. So let's set aside this LED kit for a side and take a little screen. This is screen again is 15 inch. It's made by AU Electronics G150 XG01 version 1. Um, in order to upgrade the, from CJFL to UB, it's quite easy for this particular model because there's two screws, okay, one top, one bottom, small tiny Phillips screws. So this side is covered by the uh, AO label. So first thing is that you're gonna uh, remove the screen, okay. One. Okay, two. I need to remove the label to block the way to see. Here we go. Now you can see the screw now. So after you remove it, you need to remove this two tips. And then after that, I show you this one. Hopefully, remove this tip. Oh, sticky. After you remove it, you need to take it out. See that? See that? Okay, then you can pull the back light out. It's easy. Repeat the same procedure on this end. Oh, so sticky. This. Okay. Remove the wires. Here we go. See that? So, let me set the screen for a sec. Take a look at this same breeze. So these two lamps, um, our lamp should be able to fit inside. So we're gonna use the reflector and slice that. First, let's remove the, the tape. Okay. Okay. See the tape? This one you have to completely remove the other one too, but let me start with the side. It's better I show you why. Okay. 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 See this screw? You remove this one. See that? Oops. Oops. Oh, it's not broken yet, but it's okay. Doesn't matter. We don't need the lamp anyway. See, the reason is that there's two. I we just remove one tip, the other tip you also need to remove too. Otherwise, because it was tipping on the rubber boots. Take it out. It's out. So I'm gonna let's take it out. So you're gonna do the repeat the same procedure, take it out, but on other one, but let's take a look at this one. This one was a little bit bent. Okay. Perfect. Because see on the bottom is not hundred percent flat. So what what you need to do is add a little bit of the double side tip on the bottom, peel off. Raise up the height a little bit so that way to make sure it will stay flat. Hello, uh, what I do is that uh, I add a piece of the uh, a little bit thicker double side tip so try to raise up the height a little bit because on the bottom is not flat. So, um, first I peel off the first layer of the um, double side cover tip and then add the other type of double side tip a little bit thicker. So, then we could just mount by the same location. But be careful, make sure it's flat. That's the name of the game. Okay. So that way it's more efficiency brightness level. Let me put it this way. Perfect. It's 
So I put three sections, left and right and middle. You see this? If you look at this, you probably, let me open up this a little bit so you can, like, when you see it, you see that? It's flat, it's sick and flat, okay? Cover up, No, it's done. I already fit, I repeat the same thing, finish the other one. And now we just ready to rock. Okay, raise the screen. Yeah, this one's this side. There you go. I'm sorry. Yeah, I like this hole. Here we go. Let's see, I like this hole. So put the two tiny screw back. Hello, we just finished installation, install a LED kit. Pretty straightforward. The only things that you had need, add a couple of the double side tip on the three sections and raise up the height. And so um, connecting this LED is, you can connect either end or you can connect like this. It doesn't matter, okay. So by kind of this because it's easy for me to uh, connect to a controller board for the fire up the LED. And then also this thing comes with the one six pin pigtail wire harness. So this is pretty much standard. Wet is positive, 12 to 24 volt. Black is negative. Y is for ADJ. Uh, most of the industrial application, they do not have an ADJ, which is a brightness adjustment. Yellow is very important. This is what we call a enable to turn this driver on and off. Okay, so as you can see the device setting on dip switch for this UB36 series one on. Um, so uh, it's a default, like, a, you know, you know, you want a higher one, seven, you shut off this one, seven, that means brighter. Okay, or you want lower one, two, two and five on. So you can find all this information on our internet, on our website. Okay, let's take a look. What's the difference? I have a controller board here. I already programmed to for this. Um, so one is on default. So when you purchase this kit, when you see it, one's on. It means default. Con okay. Um, I don't want to short anything. So let me put this thing underneath that. Okay. okay. This is easy for you to see or not? Okay. All right, I can connect the signal here and then the powers here. Here we go. You see it? So now it's on default setting, so we, I'm using the same meters like I always use. Okay, so turn it on. You can do three times a middle. Again, this is a used screen, not a brand new screen, okay? Nine hundred and thirty one point six nits. Nine hundred and twenty six point six nits. Nine hundred twenty-five nits. Again, this is a default setting. Uh, if, of course, screen condition varies differently. So let me shut it off. I'm going to set it high. See what happened. High means the seven. I'm going to send the seven on. Okay. So let's see what the nit is. Okay. So now seven's on. Let's see. Nine 
1,117 nits. One thousand one hundred nits, eleven hundred nits. One thousand one hundred three nits. So about two hundred nits more. And also, if your customer complains too bright the screen, then you can always, um, you know, um, move the switch. I mean, change the switch setting. I mean, tip switch uh, to the lower one, two five on. Two five. The lower set, final setting, that means generally less hits will last much longer. The higher one is much brighter and draws more power. It means a little short in life, short in life of the screens. So that's about it. Okay. Show you. This is low, low, low setting. Okay. What's the difference? Still got one and twenty point five nits. 120.5 yeah 425.2 so still much better than uh, the CCFL so I would suggest that you know you stick with the default setting which is one it's got about 920 950 though that's good enough okay all right thank you for watching